Hey, this is John Five, and you're watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, Graham here at Loudwire with John Five. Thank you so much Graham, for coming, man. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Always, always a pleasure. <laughs> okay. Uh, new live album from yes. John Five and the Creatures. It's alive. It is alive. Uh, a great, great record. A lot of fun to listen to. And it's funny because you didn't even plan on recording a live album the night that you were doing it. Is that right? That's right. The guy, we were setting up like we always do, and the guy was just like, hey, uh, do you guys want to record tonight? And we were like, I, I was like, sure. And he's like, $100. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And, um, you know, when you're making a live record, you, you know, you have to have just tons of recording gear and techs and trucks and all this stuff. It's, it's really difficult to do and you record over the whole tour and pick the best performances. So I said to the guys, you know, let's try to get the best perf Oh, my shoe fell off. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> let's try to get the best performances. How embarrassing. That's great. Well, let's try to get the best performances yeah, and there's a lot of inspiration from those old 1970s, yeah. those classic live records. I'm guessing Kiss Alive is a, is a big one for you. Yeah, Kiss Alive, Kiss Alive 2, uh, Ted Nugent, Double Live Gonzo, and Frampton, of course. Um, but all these bands that I just mentioned, they all toured their live record. And that's, what, that's just what you did back in the day. And the live records were bigger than the studio records. So tell me about how you constructed this medley at the end. Because there's this 10 minute, just monstrous piece of some of rock and metal's most classic riffs and licks and all that stuff. <laughs> how did you construct this 10 minute beast? Well, it's a fine question. A better question there isn't. There, it was, uh, it's, it's difficult. I have these you know, riffs that I love, of course, I play little, like all day. How I had to do this was it had to be all in the same key, first of all, like, you know, in the same tuning, if you will. So I didn't have to change tunings. So I had to find songs that I loved, the crowd loved, that it was in the same tuning. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. The crowd loves it. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely a crowd pleaser. It's really difficult because all the different tempos and things like that to remember. It's to celebrate what I grew up listening to and playing and, you know, I'm just like one of the fans. Totally. Uh, one song I would love to talk a little more in detail about is actually a Rob Zombie song, and that's War to Lack. Oh, I love War to I Lack. love that song yeah. so much. And I interviewed Rob uh, right when that album was coming out, and he was he was just raving about that song and saying like, I think we've got like our new concert closer for the. And it, it yeah. didn't really end up that way, but it it ended up when we do our own shows, like those are all zombie fans, obviously. Yeah, and we'll close with that, and uh, you know. I did this piano piece at the end of it, and you know, J5 is not Liberace or anything. He's not Mozart, so uh, I did this piano piece at the end, and it's haunting and it fit really well, but what I love about that song more than anything, and I talk to Rob about this all the time, is that voice. Like, mm. it's that deep, just awesome, heavy voice he has, and he doesn't use it all the time it just comes out you know when the song calls for it and oh my god there's nothing like it it's my favorite vocal on that on that record so when it comes to your live stuff with john five and the creatures versus rob uh, is there a position that you're more comfortable in whether it be right out front as like the shred master or like next to Rob or with the rhythm section of the band, is there a position that you're most comfortable in on stage? Well, I am pretty comfortable on stage. I'm more, I'm always comfortable with a guitar in my hand. You know, right now I'm a little like, ah, my shoe fell off and, <laughs> you know, I'm uncomfortable. It's and a little out of your wheelhouse, I, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, so, uh, but, I'm always comfortable on stage, so it's, you know, if it's with the Creatures or with Rob, I'm probably a little bit more comfortable with Rob because it's, 
we have the nice hotels and the bus and oh catering and this and that <laughs> so you know it's it's very comfortable it's nice right and then yeah with which john five and the creatures you're going to the clubs and it's like yeah but it's real intimate i i'm sure as well it is very intimate and i'm telling you it's i love it and it's the i get the best of both worlds because i get to play to people that are a foot away and you know they're like oh and and so happy and all this stuff and i like that i like to interact with the crowd um, but like when we do the big festivals, we're a hundred feet away from the first row, you know, and I like to, uh, you know, like those old shows, when you see pictures of like old concerts and people are just leaning on the stage, yeah. you know, I thought that was so rad. There was no barricade. There was no security. There was nothing. And, uh, I really like that a lot. It's fun. That's awesome. Yeah. 